The National Insurance Commission has expressed growing concern regarding a rise in fraudulent activities where certain individuals resort to forging documents to file insurance claims. Seeking assistance, the Commission appeals to the Ghana Police Service to curb such deceitful practices within the insurance sector. Reporting for City News, Hafiz Tijani provides insights into the matter. Unidentified perpetrators often acquire counterfeit police and medical reports to pursue motor insurance claims unlawfully. Some even stage accidents to obtain these falsified documents, enabling them to make claims from insurance providers. Acting Commissioner of Insurance Michael Kofi Ando elucidates on the strategies employed by these fosters in an exclusive interview with city news. So people um, get fake report, um, like fake police report or fake medical report. They put them together and they make a claim. Um, you would see somebody injured. Um, you see him injured, um, really. But then the point is, how did he get injured? Because uh, a motor insurance claim is for motor accident victims. Okay. And so um, if he doesn't fall within that category, he needs to get a report that says that he got injured from a, a vehicle accident. He needs to get a medical report to that effect. He puts it together. He wants to present it to the insurance company to, to get a claim. And um, sometimes the insurers, the claimants, the technical people, when they look at these documents, can read in between the lines and and know uh, that something doesn't add up. So we need to investigate. And sometimes when the investigation is done, you realize that um, these are not valid documents and it's actually on, on the right. The commission calls upon the police for support in stemming this trend while urging insurance companies to enhance their vigilance in detecting and preventing fraudulent activities. And, and so we also did discuss that with them and um, asked for their assistance in helping us to minimize the incidents and that if we come back to do any confirmations that they cooperate with, with our men. But this is all aimed at reducing the incidence of fraud which has been on the rise. I expect the insurance companies to put their own controls in, in place um, to manage the risk. Um, there's risk with every business, and this is one of the risks that they have to manage. And so um, we um, have discussed, we'll continue to um, enable them to build the appropriate controls to uh, manage that risk and help to minimize it so that the fraudsters don't take out all the money that the fund, the insurance fund, is actually used to take care of the genuine uh, people who become victims of, of, of motor um, accidents. Furthermore, the commissioner reveals plans to bolster collaboration with law enforcement agencies to ensure strict adherence to insurance laws. Well, so, you know, the police are the law enforcement agencies. The law says that you cannot drive your vehicle on the road if you don't have insurance, and they enforce that law. So we have to collaborate with them um, um, to discuss the effectiveness of enforcing that and any challenges that they face in, in doing that. We had discussions on um, a whole lot of issues, starting with um, the uninsured vehicles in the road, um, accident victims and how they are able to obtain the report that they need to be able to um, claim their, their, make their claims and the items that they need to, to do their work. We did um, donate a few items to them to help them in, in their work as well. During a working visit to the Ashanti region, the Commissioner of Insurance engaged stakeholders in discussions aimed at addressing challenges within the industry effectively. The National Insurance Commission says it will collaborate with relevant state agencies to enforce insurance laws of the country. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Kumase, Ashanti Region.